Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Urban Street. Crazy. Urban Street. Come on, hey, throw it to oh, me. Here comes Tommy. Okay, here you go, Crow. Oh, sorry, Miss. Hey, come on, throw right. it to me. Whoa. Okay, I'll hey, to okay, <laughs> okay, Crow, you know what? I think yeah. Tom and I are all done with it. Yeah. Ah, face. <laughs> peace, peace, Joe. <laughs> here it comes, Tommy, Tommy. yeah. Tommy, Crow, be a best friend. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. A friend who can't catch? I don't think so. Got it. Yeah, well, your limbs Tom. don't even oh. work. Well, I, I happen to be propelling the ball with my hover skirt. Thank you very much. Here comes Tommy. Come on. Hello. Holy pepper, pepper. Okay, I, I don't even want to play. You know what? I don't even care. I hate balls. Play all you want. I don't care. Okay, no, we will. No, I don't care. Oh, 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 I got it. Hey. Oh, I'm going to get in the theater early. Hey. Hey, Tommy, go along for the Hail Mary. Go, go, go. We got no missile. I got it. No, I got it. I got it. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. I got it. Here it comes. I got it. I got it. Oh. Hey, here's a Snickers for being a good sport. Buddy. How about that, Anita Ekberg? Catchment. I sure Catchment. wouldn't mind that. Ooh. He looks so peaceful. Absolutely unbelievable, General. Called me away from dinner for this. He looks worse than the others. He started out worse than the Once others. Once again, there wasn't anybody around who saw anything. No. It's New York. One of our men recognized Logan's car on his way to town this morning. The car was still there when he came back this afternoon, so we stopped to investigate. Thank you, little white cabbie. Oh, here comes that boat again. <laughs> Haven't you people done anything I since I left? Nothing. What do you think brought him out here? Great selection, low well, prices. So must have had a good reason. He had the counter with him. Great place to die, though. Real spooky. Captain, would you boys take Logan's body back to the lab? We'll join you there. All right, Doctor. I'll go with you. They can bring my car later. Well, thank you, Pinky. Well, we'll just field strip him and get out of here. Do you have any idea of where Logan was going this morning? Well, we wouldn't have got out of bed this... Oh. He said he was going into town to pick up some personal things. He was on a wifely don't errand. Don't have any special plans he had. Mentioned something Maybe about the horror. Him. All right, if we can find out what brought him to this particular place, we might have something to go on. Good idea. You know, we work good together, Chris. Well, just wait here, then. Rot, decompose, rot, decompose, decompose. Oh, poor sap. Sky King. Mm. Matthias Roost. Tonight on Wings, the Beechcraft Bonanza with its revolutionary V-tail. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. Hey, it's Sununo going to get a haircut. Because <laughs> he spent a lot of money on planes. Hot dog burp. As far as the tragedies. What do you mean? Well, for the last eight weeks, nothing has happened. This is like a Whatever totally came back other to that movie. Has disappeared. Yeah. You speak in riddles, Sahib. I thought this was going to be a lockup. I huh. thought it was just legwork when Manning turned it over to me. Legwork? Who are these guys? Detail stuff. Trivia. There's nothing trivial about three deaths. That's for sure. Now I can understand Chris's concern. So let's get with it. Well, where it do looks we start? like Babe Ruth. Hmm. I'd like to see Dr. Kramer. Well, she's probably in her lab. Does she work alone? Well, she started it with Dr. Logan, but now she works with Conrad, his brother. Well, let's go. I'm glad we had this talk. I feel much closer to you now. Well, he's impotent. And he's impotent. Good. I'm Chad from Park Davis. Dr. Brent, Dr. Kramer. Dr. Moe? Thanks. I'm glad to know you. I filled Dr. Brent in on the details, but well, let's get to the larger issue. Me. More well, issues. Did you run a blood count on Taylor? Yes, we did. Actually, there was no blood. 
It mm -hmm. had all turned to powder, and we think that accounts for the shriveled effect. Like shrinky dinks. Well, how long was Taylor dead before his body was found? It was just a matter um, of moments doctor, before his last contact. And a doctor, if you could look at this slide. We think it was on its way back to the doctor, copter that when he polio vaccine, Dr. Salk? What if um, doctor, I think I found it. Was it came back to the capsule. Doctor, the if you just... Uh -huh. It's true. We have a radioactive something or other. Thingy. That's what tall, 400 pounds. Well, that's a keeper. Now, if we sent an astronaut up, we got him back. Dr. Salk, please, it's, it's definitely the, the polio vaccine. With something caused it, what? Don't forget it, I'll Perfection take credit for it. It's impossible. It was a perfect two-man capsule, easy control. Ooh, by what a gesture. Hmm. Well, unless I miss my guess, Douglas is back. A monster? I don't know. Apathetic scientists. What about this man, tedium 51 he was taking, the radiation you? repellent? Well, yes, we actually gave him lots more of these injections so that he could withstand all kinds of rays. We've been working on big gobs of neat stuff. Well, did Dr. Logan keep a log? Certainly. May I see it? Yes. Fine. Jeez. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, let's see. There's my journal. This is my coin collection book and then my book of S.H. Green stamps. This is Dr. Logan's log. You'll find it very correct. Well, let me see here. <clears throat> Rumple Tweezer, the good fairy, lived under the dum-dum tree. Down. What? Oh. Regular Avalon Wood, isn't he? you keep a log? Sure. May I see it, please? Yes, I'll get it. Sure, I'll just shelve my cancer research. Hmm. Bullwinkle is a... Not that lesson, this lesson. Ew, mayonnaise. Sure is thorough. That's why he's here. He's thorough yet gentle. Why did you change my tedium 50 to 51 six months ago? Speaking Dr. of Logan tedium... Mm -hmm. But 50 was very effective. It was tested on animals for a two-year period. The other for only six months. I didn't know that. Why wasn't I told? Listen, I'm oh, feeling a little picked place, on here. So nominal. Dr. Logan was so sure it would be all right. Shame-based well, science. Thing, doctor. Dr. Logan states his final injection with Douglas was 100 cc. According to your log, as compared to his, yours says 200 cc. Ooh, we keep two sets of books. <laughs> here. Who's correct, doctor? I am only an assistant in this laboratory. I simply work here and I take my orders. Dr. Fred didn't mean that. Well, yes, I did, actually. Security must be upheld. Where's Dr. Logan? He's either in the commissary or perhaps he's back in the other laboratory. Well, let's go see him. Perhaps we can have drinks sometime. Hmm? Thank you. Later, over lunch with Wally Sean. I in fact, I cross-checked your logs with Dr. Kramer's. That's proper. You're head of the project. Well, why wasn't I informed about the switch from Antidium 50 to 51? Because we hate you. They're almost identical. Well, then why not call it 58? I said almost identical. Or Heinz 57. Doctor. Antidium 51 can stand one half times more radiation. You mean the subject can stand more? Precisely. Hey, this ain't rocket science, How you know. How the animal experiments work out? Perfectly. Fantastic. Six months. Well, what would happen with the uh, overdose? An overdose of anything, candy with a child, has a bad effect. But it's mm -hmm. correct. Where's our pizza? I just want to go. You Let's just go. 200 cc's instead of the customary 100 cc. Or was that your brother's order? No. It was a joke. Dr. Kramer is very efficient and very observant. I did give him an extra 100 cc for added protection. That was my reason. Did you ever overdose an animal? Oh, I smoked too much yes. rabbit once. It absorbed great quantities of radiation. The results, please. The winner in Los Angeles the is... The other pig. Killed every one of them that touched. Innocently. Is that all? No. Whoever you are. It grew twice its normal size. My brother developed an antidote. My brother's what? antidote can beat your brother's antidote. The animal died. Of what, doctor? The heart couldn't stand the violent transition back to normal. Hmm. And Douglas? He's live out there. So, another liney? Meanwhile, at Lens Crafters. Yeah, bad movies in about an hour, right? <laughs> Working late, aren't you? <laughs> Don't you start on me, Baldy. Oh, I just had to finish this up. I'm sorry, Mr. Gower. Please don't hit my sore ear. Jeez, you break a beaker over there or something? Phew. 
It was fun working on our own projects. Yet working together. What do you think of that, Doctor Brent? Nah, he's a pig. Why? He's a good man. Why? I don't know. It really, sort of scares me with his exactness. Makes you awfully aware of your responsibilities. The hell? Got a job to do. I wouldn't want it. Got any chlorofluorocarbons over there? It's kind of strange, though. I mean, it's been so quiet the past couple They're making couple imposter weeks. fragrances. Hmm. Hope it stays that way. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. No death, no monster reports. Hmm. I'm sorry, you say something? Oh. I see you've made another batch of antidotes. Ah! Ah! Pencils down. It was your brother's last order. Mm. So... It was a good Martin last night. What up? <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> good God, did you launch a sulfur bomb back there, huh? Whoa. Hey, I figured it out. He's got his script taped to the floor. Well, Let's play with phosphorus. That does it. Going home? Look, I'm working late. Aren't you? I've been cleaning up my desk. Oh, this is what happens when you get trapped in an Ian Esco play. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> He's not mad at her anymore. <laughs> it looks like the experiment was a success. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is she changing lab coats? Well, she's got a night shift at Fermilab. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, damn, she loosened my script. Hey, I think you got page 25 on your shoe. <laughs> I'm going to snoop in a sock drawer. <laughs> Dr. Logan ah! didn't know oh. where the giant was huh. in a storeroom in that very building. Logan had learned that massive doses of the antidote brought about an almost human appearance. I did not quit but lying. With such unpredictable side effects that enough tranquilizer to subdue ten ordinary men had to be given each day. On an empty stomach. This day, it Ooh. was late. Logan knew that each passing minute might mean a return to violence. Return As to violence! Out, he was too late. We was too late! Like his brother, the scientist had an intuitive knowledge of the situation. Plus, an extraordinarily bad sense of timing. Oh. It's like he laughs when bad things happen to his friends. Oh, that can be embarrassing. Hey, look, the musical stairs from the science museum. Uh, he's sneaking past Robert Fripp's room. Hit it. Hey, would somebody get the cat off the fender roads, please? From there, he looks like Skitch Henderson. Oh, we don't need to see this shot. Uh. Time keeps on slipping, slipping. Ah, well, I guess I didn't have to go. Oh, what a lucky man he was, boo. <laughs> After school, nobody around. You go in the girls' room. <laughs> Everything used to make the antidote was in wreckage by the time Logan returned. That's wreckage? Any chance that might have existed, any hope that mm. sufficient antidote might be compounded to have a lasting effect. All this vanished with one sweep of the monster's arm. Or any hope that the film would end soon. Oh man, he got my CompuServe magazine and Computer Gamer Weekly! It might have been nice to show that scene with the monster, but use your imagination. It was true horror. Oh, man, I need a smoke. I'm dying for a cigarette. I really need a smoke. Oh. Hello. I'd like to make a call. If you'd like to laboratory D. If you'd like to make Hurry. a... You listen? I said if you'd like to make... Just listen Logan. to me. If you'd like to make it's a... Dr. Oh, can it. Put him on. Oh, great. I'm dead. It's the end of the world. I'm dead. 
I'll be right over. Yes. It's urgent. The call is coming from within the laboratory. Great. I'm 